Meridian as we've just launched on Meta Mainnet. I'm happy to join by both half of the Meridian team as well as uh, Zahan Zhu. Uh, I think I probably butchered that, but um, I'll welcome you both to introduce yourselves and um, just give a brief rundown about uh, what you are and what you do. Yeah, actually, uh, I think uh, you pronounced my name uh, very right, so <laughs> no worries. Yeah, thanks a lot for the opportunity today. Yeah. Yeah, thanks a lot for joining. Um, as, as I understand it so far, you're the co-founder of the Meta Network. Um, when exactly did the Meta Network launch? Uh, yeah, first of all, like uh, uh, it's my great pleasure to be here today, and also uh, even greater pleasure to have uh, Meridian launch on the Meter mainnet. Uh, we actually started working on Meter since uh, 2018. Uh, initially, we were trying to complete Satoshi's original vision to create uh, a sound money, which means uh, having a stable purchasing power over time um, that's independent of the fiat system. But as we like start developing the project, uh, we realize we'll have to like change the uh, uh, consensus layer for the network. Uh, so we actually put in the latest consensus, uh, uh, which is called the hot stuff. Nowadays it's hot stuff too. We have already put in the most uh, latest version. Um, so Meter is a uh, Ethereum compatible chain, uh, highly decentralized and very high performance. Right now, we have more than 350 consensus nodes from the community. It actually is scalable to tens of thousands. Um, Ethereum compatible, but also front-running resistant, meaning when you trade on meter, you don't have to worry about the bots uh, front-running you, extract uh, MEV values, uh, those type of things. Uh, and finally, we have the uh, original flat coin uh, created by Proof of Work, but have a long-term economic equilibrium and maintain a stable purchasing power in the network. Yeah, that's a, just a high level for rundown for the meter network. Yeah, thanks a lot for sharing. I, I think being fun running resistant is massive nowadays because you do hear about, you know, transactions on Ethereum, uh, people losing, you know, tens of thousands of dollars in a single transaction to, to being front run. And it probably costs people in the hundreds of millions each year with the number of transactions happening. So I think that's a huge yeah, selling point. Actually, the it's estimated uh, the MEV extracted uh, more than one billion last year from the pro uh, crypto community. Yeah, it's like an unfair tax that people, everyone seems to pay. Yeah. But, um, and I'm sure it's going to continue to grow. Yeah, there's a, there's so a, having that feature is incredible. Yeah, hey, there is actually um, a website. And also 350 validators and grow. I saw a post recently about how easy it was to actually set up um, a validator node on Meter. So I think having that kind of ease is very important for, for growing that and getting more validators and increasing the decentralization. That, so that's quite cool. Um, yeah, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, definitely. Just wanted to add that I think there is a website that tracks all the these uh, sandwich attacks that happens from front, front running. I used to play with this website uh, once. Uh, it's uh, it's crazy how much. Get I'm not sure if your speaker is working right now, but we can get back to them in a in a short while. Um, so yeah, so what would you say? Um, Zan, to people that are just getting started with Meter, what's what's the easiest way to kind of get into the ecosystem? Because I know we've got a lot of users on Telos and Base, but they might not have heard of Meter before. So what's the what's the best way to get started? Oh uh, yeah, actually, um, right now I think uh, if you're uh, a lot of the Meridian users uh, are from Telos and uh, Base, I think the easiest way to get into Meter is uh, from Base. So we have a, a layer zero powered bridge uh, uh, that's supporting USDC and uh, uh, also our governance token MTRG. Uh, you can actually find uh, uh, the MTRG trading pairs on base uh, Aerodrome. And also we have a, like, uh, a synthetic asset protocol have a, a, something called SU USD, SU USD. Uh, it's available on Arbitrum as well. So you can use uh, these three tokens to uh, bridge uh, back and forth 
between a uh, base and uh, a meter network. Um, and once you get to the meter network, if you pay attention to our bridge, passport.meter.io, uh, there is a link for getting uh, gas. So you can do gasless swap to obtain some initial gas to get started. Uh, or there's a like a layer zero power, the gas zip app can help you to send uh, uh, tokens from uh, gas tokens from different networks to a meter as well. So I think that's the best way to get started. The next step is obviously jumping to uh, Meridian. And also we have a DEX called Voltswap, uh, B-O-L-T-S-W-A-P. So that's uh, a DEX that uh, have a lot of uh, uh, liquidity for different tokens on the network. Uh, there's also uh, one more DEX that's launching probably sometime next week or, I mean, or the next one or two weeks. Um, and uh, yeah, potentially another one as well. So yeah, so that's how you get started uh, on the meter network. Yeah, we've been sp speaking to a few um, different projects actually that are, that are interested in working with you guys. I think you you probably know the ones I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, it does seem that meter is at the start of this quite big growth phase, um, especially as you get more and more protocols being onboarded. Um, so from your perspective, what kind of dApps would you like to see deployed in the in the near term or even the long term? Yeah, obviously, um, we're like a infrastructure. Meter is a, like a smart contract platform. So we welcome like all kinds of uh, different applications to deploy on the Meter network. But I think uh, on the uh, crypto space, the most successful ones tend to be like asset related or like fi related, right? So like DeFi, GameFi, SocialFi, I mean, all these are like uh, applications we'll, we'll love to like uh, support on the meter network. Uh, even like meme coins, we are welcoming. Uh, we actually have uh, like various uh, uh, support program for developers to uh, deploy on the network. Uh, so it's starting from like grant or like uh, incentive for the users, um, or like a liquidity support. Um, yeah, so just feel free to reach out to us if you like uh, thinking about uh, deploying any uh, applications on the meter network. Yeah, I think the um, the incentives program that you guys run is actually really competitive um, compared to what other networks offer. For example, the fact that you base the incentives the protocol receives to give its users based on the protocol's TVL, I think I think that's a huge selling point that if more projects knew about, then you'd see an even larger influx of projects entering the ecosystem because that's just something that's not really being offered um, by by many networks out there, but is something that a lot of um, you know, projects and DeFi applications definitely look for because actually, you know, getting in, building an initial user base can be quite challenging because usually you have to reward your users with your own native platform token, but obviously that can be quite um, inflationary. So being able to work within like a strong partnership with the network themselves to build liquidity to benefit both the network and the DeFi protocol, I think is hugely beneficial. Um, so having that incentives program in place um, is, is amazing from our perspective. Yeah, definitely, because uh, we have tried uh, several DeFi applications ourselves as well, and we understand uh, building the uh, initial liquidity and TVL is uh, very challenging, especially for like new applications that just launched. So we would like to like uh, support the developers throughout the process. For example, the uh, the TVL incentive is based on like how much TL locked in the uh, application, but uh, we understand uh, when uh, an application just start, you probably uh, don't have enough to like start the flywheel. wheel. So we can actually like give you some upfront uh, incentive to get the process started. And uh, after a few months, you can gradually uh, move to the complete uh, TVL based uh, user incentive, uh, that type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's working so far. Um, based on your TVL in October, it was around four million. It's now you're sitting at over eight million, so um, it's, it's definitely starting to show through. 
Yeah, we hope so. Uh, it will like attract more developers and users to the network as well as to the process. And also, like uh, we are going to launch another network-wide uh, like point system that will lead to future uh, airdrops. Because um, uh, we actually just passed the governance uh, uh, proposal that uh, 15 million of the meter governance token uh, will be uh, reserved for like um, incentives for the user incentives, airdrops, uh, developer grant, those kind of uh, network growth related activities. And uh, we will start with uh, like uh, a point based uh, system uh, to basically uh, attract more users and uh, activities to the network. So that's uh, going to come in the next month or so. And uh, like Meridian is obviously one of the uh, um, applications that uh, will be included in the list. Well, we're very much looking forward to that then. It should be um, very exciting. So um, from a developer standpoint, what are the main things that Meet is working on at the moment? Um, you know, are you looking into maybe zero knowledge proofs or are you maybe thinking about side chains or what's kind of like the long term strategy? Yeah, so one of the things uh, we're just recently talked about is uh, we're in the process of developing a very secure uh, bridge uh, to BTC. So um, that will enable Meter to actually function as a, like a BTC L2. Um, and also, um, we are opening up, because uh, right now, we mentioned about the, the starting on validator on the meter network, right? We actually, uh, is one of the easiest uh, to set up and lowest required and, uh, in terms of uh, hardware uh, for uh, a block, layer one blockchain validator. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, in order to start a validator, you have to own enough uh, a meter governance token, the MTRG token. Uh, we want to broaden the reach to uh, attract more uh, external users to the network as well. So we're going to support the multi-asset uh, validation, which means uh, you can use uh, uh, like uh, BTC or uh, even restaked uh, Ethereum uh, in the network to start a validator and uh, like start uh, earning the, uh, the uh, meter governance token and block rewards. Uh, we believe uh, this can, yeah, brought in more like TVLs and also more uh, users and activities in the network. So that's another thing we're working on. And uh, yeah, also obviously other things like decentralized sequencers, uh, DA layers, uh, those are L2 related things. Um, yeah, we're also uh, looking at those as well. Yeah, I think that's that's a very unique value proposition that I I don't I haven't heard of any other networks working on so that that is interesting and if you can unlock you know the capital from Bitcoin or from staked Ether then there's a huge amount of value there for for users um, so yeah that's that's incredible we've just been rejoined by R so hopefully um, hopefully the speaker's working now yeah, yeah now. can you hear me now. Uh, yeah, much better. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah not sure what it uh, what it was before. Yeah, so nice, nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, still, uh, still now I heard what you said, and I can say from from our end, we are uh, that meter is one of the chains we are most uh, most interested and excited to integrate uh, with, and, uh, and it's uh, the value proposition is. Uh, is clear and huge on on our end. Uh, yeah, so it was re really uh, really good to hear that uh, from our from our from our end. Uh, maybe I will just uh, uh, introduce myself. So I'm Yair. I am in charge of the business uh, development side uh, of Meridian. Uh, I'm not not sure we we talked about uh, Meridian land. Uh, if, uh, maybe a bit. Uh, if you manage to say a few words about this and what users can already do with Meridian Land, which uh, that just got uh, got live, uh, have you have you managed to speak about this a bit? No, we, we've not covered that yet. But um, yeah, feel free to to take the stage and uh, walk us through Meridian Land and how it works. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Meridian Land is uh, is one of three of our uh, of the Meridian products, and uh, he, he is the first to join the Meter ecosystem. Uh, so Meridian Land is a Aave V2 fork, uh, so users can uh, land and borrow assets. Uh, currently, I believe uh, USDC, USDT, Ether, and uh, MTRG and uh, staked uh, MTRG or wrapped staked uh, MTRG are uh, enabled. Uh, we, and uh, with more assets uh, uh, will come in the future as well. Uh, probably USDM, which is our stablecoin, uh, will join the list uh, in the future. Uh, in a few in a few hours, we we plan to launch the incentives on Meridian land, and uh, we will drop a short uh, explainer and on uh, how it works for uh, uh, specifically for the meter users, uh, which is might be the first uh, time using Meridian. Uh, in uh, shortly. It, uh, you will get a, you will get a MTRG reward for both lending and uh, borrowing assets, so it uh, can be really lucrative, specifically for the early birds out there and uh, that want to uh, to leverage their different positions uh, with Meridian Land. Maybe TJ, if you want to add a few. Uh, from your end as well. Yeah, I think you covered it very well there. Um, as, as you said, the incentives will be going live in the next couple of hours. And once they do go live, there's going to be some very attractive yields to be earned. Um, I think currently the TBL is around $17,000 as the protocol has just gone live. Um, but then in the next few days, we can expect that to tick up a lot. But until then, the rewards are going to be very, very competitive. So make sure to check that out. That's at lend.meridianfinance.net on the Meta network. So very good earning opportunities there um, that you, you definitely won't want to miss. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'll just I, take I a minute. I think you guys are RV fork, right? So, and it's fully audited yeah, exactly. uh, by the uh, auditors, yeah. Yeah, so we inherit the same security that is inherits Aave um, as a direct fork of their, their V2 code. Um, same with all our applications, actually. So uh, trading platforms are fork of GMX, uh, stable coins are fork of Liquity, and yeah, the, the lending platforms are fork of Aave V2. So generally speaking, we don't, we don't like to make additional changes um, since this does add a security risk. And when we do make additional changes, we, of course, get those changes audited. Um, but yeah, um, I'll give a little rundown of our future roadmap with Meta um, and um, share with the audience here. So our kind of goal in the long term is to build out a DeFi infrastructure across several different chains and Meta's kind of a very core cool to that plan. Um, so as I just mentioned, we've got a stablecoin USDM and our trading platform um, which is a fork of GMX, which aren't yet live on Meter. Um, but in the coming you know, weeks and months, uh, we're certainly going to roll those out. And I think they're going to unlock a huge amount of utility um, on the network, as I don't think you can currently do leverage trading. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Zion. That's but, right, um, yeah. You guys uh, will be the first that enables this. Yeah, yeah so... I think once we have that, we should see, you know, a, a very big tick up in trading volume on, on Meter. And so that's something we're very excited about. Um, and then additionally, we've got our own stable coin, which is USDM. Um, so we've got to make some upgrades to the smart contracts to make them compatible for Meter. But once this happens, we'll have this whole suite of DeFi products um, on the Meter network, which I'm super excited about because each, each DeFi product complements the other one. So having all three together um, really builds this strong network effect where um, each product kind of benefits the other products, um, if that makes sense. So yeah, a lot of development to be, to be uh, accomplished from our end, but we can be more excited. Yeah, that's great. Uh, yeah. So in the future, for example, your like uh, GMX fork, uh, 
type of deriv derivative trading will be built on the USDM? Yeah, so the trading platform will support a basket of different assets and USDM will be one got of those assets. It. So, yeah, the, the kind of idea is that the more utility we build around USDM, the greater the network effect and the greater the adoption the USDM stablecoin will have. Um, because I think that's the best way to, to grow the, the adoption of a stablecoin is to have the, the utility for it and applications to it in and use cases. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll also be the first stablecoin on the meter network when when that time eventually comes around. We'll see. I'm sure there's a lot of other projects racing to become the first once they uncover what the meter network has to offer. Anyway, yeah, for sure. So, a uh, question for you, Zan. As, aside from um, the de development side uh, standpoint. Uh, have you seen much kind of interest on the social fi side of things for for the meter network or or maybe just like um if you have a killer dap in mind that you think's really going to take meters to the next level um yeah we are actually looking actively looking at uh, different applications uh social fi um i mean we we spent some time looking at uh, like different social fi applications but uh haven't uh, find a, uh, I would say haven't find the right partner uh, for the social file application yet. So if any uh, developers are interested in building social file applications, would love to chat more about it. I think um, as a like infrastructure, um, the first step is obviously to have uh, more like liquidity on the network. So the DeFi applications are basically a stepping stones for all the other applications building on top. Uh, that's definitely an area that uh, we want to like build uh, uh, more activities and more uh, TVLs on. And uh, on top of that, I mean, um, like essentially, sky is the limit. I mean, like uh, there's all kinds of uh, things that potentially can build like uh, GameFi uh, because we're like highly uh, fast and uh, gas efficient um, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, the innovation space for uh, the blockchain space uh, is uh, very big. I mean, like, uh, for example, recently we've been talking with a lot of AI type of applications, DPN type of applications. I mean, uh, yeah, we have like uh, quite a few of them, like maybe launching or uh, will announce in the next uh, uh, month or so. So, yeah. Just uh, keep tuned, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yes, we are. Uh, we are also looking to partner with every other project that uh, comes to Meta. We will be happy to support and see how we can collab. So feel free if you are a product owner or thinking to come to Meta, feel free to reach out. We will be happy to partner up. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's uh, how we. For example. Uh, one yeah. of the things we're recently been discussing is uh, to have a restaked uh, Ethereum on the meter network. And there's one partner that's uh, already uh, committed. Uh, right now, we're just waiting for their Oracle fee to be available on the network. I think uh, it will be very interesting to have them to be supported in Meridian. Yeah. Yes, yes, sounds, sounds really good. We will be happy uh, to collab on this, on the, on that uh, initiative, definitely. Uh, I think now we can open the stage for questions from the audience a bit, if someone wants to speak up or write in the chat. Uh, as, we, as we showed, we also have some, uh, uh, some rewards and fighters for uh, questions from the audience. So we'll be happy to take this. Uh, if someone want to speak, we can uh, allow you allow him to speak or in the chat, uh, the comments section. I think just now Matic uh, actually had a raised her hand, but uh, she, she dropped off. <laughs> really? Yeah. Let's, let me pull up if you see if there are questions. 
first things in the chat. Yeah. Looks like the, in the comments there is a, a gif of the rock. <laughs> for, for now. Um, let's, let's give a, a few more seconds if someone wants to, to take a shot and ask uh, all about Meridian or about Meter in general. It will be good to, to get uh, any doubt or any question covered. If not, feel free to reach out on our uh, Telegram group or Discord. We are super active there. And also on Meter group chats, there seems to be a really, really good time there and a good activity. Uh, so definitely check, uh, uh, definitely reach out. And looks like TJ, uh, if you want to give some words to wrap it up. Yeah, unless there are any other questions, I see there's one more comment just come in. Um, when will we see Meridian trade launch? Very good question. So the current plan is around four weeks. Um, that's kind of dependent on a few other things. Um, but hopefully around four weeks, four to six weeks time, uh, we'll, we'll see Meridian trade launch. Six being you know, the pessimistic side. But yeah. Um, yeah, unless there's, oh, there might be one more question. And what kind of incentives are we looking on Meridian Lend starting today? So, so yeah, that's a good question. I'd say the uh, deposit APY and the borrow APY will be probably over a hundred percent APR for some of the uh, for some of the pools. Just because you know the USDT pool, for example, doesn't have many assets deposited at the moment, so a little bit of rewards will go a very long way over there. So if you do have some USDT or some any other asset like you know wrap stakes meter or um, USCC, then you probably will earn a very good good yield for for the coming weeks until other people kind of uncover this opportunity. So being early will definitely pay off in this case. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So thank you very much for everyone tuning in today. Hopefully you learned a little bit about Meridian and also Actually, um, about. Can I ask a question? Like, uh, yeah. are you yeah. guys planning to launch a token as well? Yeah, good question, actually. So we've got a token already, which is MST. Mm -hmm. So MST is currently available on base um, and Telos and Fuse. In a couple of days' time, uh, Layer 0 will add an endpoint that will enable us to also bridge the MST token to Meter. So once that's live, then the MST will also go, go live on the Meter network. And the great thing about this is that you'll be able to purchase MST um, through Vault Swap, and then you can simply stake it through our staking page and start earning a proportion of the yields generated by lending and then over time as you know activity increases on lending and more, more people start borrowing that um, will obviously increase the amount of rewards you'll earn and then when trading goes live as well that's also going to really amplify the yield what you can earn on on your mst so we're, cool. we're all about kind of real yield so yeah there'll be a very good opportunity once it's once it's ready yeah, looking forward to it. So yeah, stay, stay tuned on the uh, the Meridian uh, Twitter page, as that's where we'll be posting our updates um, on the uh, the MST staking and when that's going live. Um, but yeah, I think unless there's any other questions, then we can wrap it up there. But uh, Zahan, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure, and hearing more about meters has been great. Um, yes, thanks a lot for yeah, the opportunity, yeah. and uh, great to have Meridian on the Meter Network. Yeah, thank you very much. But we couldn't be happy to be here. Um, I'm very excited about what the next few months is going to have in store, um, and yeah, just kind of hoping that it really takes off and we can get a, a grow the user base of of both Meter and Meridian in the process, and really make it a joint success. So, yeah, let's see, let's see where it goes. Um, Thank you. On that note, 
thank you everyone for joining thank you everyone have a great thank you thank you very much have a good one future is bright definitely cheers guys cheers, cheers. bye